Tonight, a 49 News web poll has a local congressional candidate on the defensive. Reporter Jesse Frey is here to explain what the candidate's campaign did after we asked for your opinion. Liz, we asked viewers to weigh in after a story we ran last night. In our online poll at KTKA.com, we're asking, do the college savings TV ads featuring State Treasurer Lynn Jenkins give her an unfair advantage in her race for Congress? Now, keep in mind, these results are not scientific. Right now, 26% say yes. The company who makes the ads doesn't have to use her in them. 71% say no. It's Jenkins' duty to promote the program. Hey, how are you going to pay for college? Jenkins' congressional opponent, Jim Ryan, says her appearance in these ads raise ethical questions and are unfair. But Jenkins says she's just doing her job by supporting the state-sponsored college savings program. After my story aired, Jenkins' campaign sent this email to her closest supporters. It says, KTKA TV in Topeka is conducting a poll regarding this story, and we need you to support Lynn by voting no. It's her duty to promote the program. Forward this to all your friends and vote here tonight. Ryan's campaign manager says Lynn Jenkins got caught red-handed taking unethical donations and now she's trying to skew poll results to cover up her actions. Her campaign should be ashamed. Jenkins' camp says the email was only sent to 74 people, but the email only spread from there. Her campaign manager says if we were trying to skew the poll results, we would have sent it to the thousands of email addresses that we have. This is just an email to keep our supporters informed about what's going on. This was something they could do to help out the campaign. 49 News political analyst Lauren Smith says he thinks what Jenkins' campaign did was fair and he can't blame the camp for responding to our web poll because of the way it was worded. He says it's politics as usual. This is another example of a paranoia that uh, occurs, okay? Uh, you know, they're f deeply afraid that something is going to give another per uh, their opponent an advantage. You can vote in our online poll at ktka.com. Just scroll down the homepage and look for the poll on the right. We'll have updated results later in the show and again tonight on 49 News at 10. Now Liz Smith says this is only the beginning of more criticisms to come from the candidates. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jesse.